know this is weird and this is not the normal theater experience for a lot of you that you're used to because we've never done anything like this before at Henderson and I just would like to thank you from all of us here. Um, thank you so much for being so willing to do everything that we've asked or maybe you haven't done everything. Shame on you, just kidding. <laughs> It was described to us as, uh, quote, like Pokemon Go type stuff because we didn't know what we were working with. We're a bunch of theater majors. We're used to having to see and handle stuff physically. The AR came in about two-ish weeks before um, we opened. We got to see some of the designs and stuff. Scott McKinnon had designed for us and some of the students, and that was really cool. We didn't really know how it worked. We just were told like, okay, well, they're gonna make like a forest here. And we were like, okay, right. What, do I need to stand a special way? Like what's going on? And then we got to see it and that really helped a lot. The way Innovative Media got involved with this theater production was um, this guest director, Shelby, I guess approached Lacey, our learning community director, at some point over the summer about this project that she had worked on once before in Little Rock that involved augmented reality and nature. So it seemed like a pretty natural fit. Lacey knew that we were had worked with augmented reality before and that was the kind of stuff that seemed like we would be able to do. So it just kind of grew out of that of, hey, you guys do that stuff. This director does it, so is gonna be doing it this semester. So it just kind of, sure, let's do it. It can be something small. It can be something really significant. But think of a memory and just take a look at that piece of glass and think of what kind of weight that memory puts on you from time to time. Remember, Breathe, it was, it was originally, okay, so they had a Little Rock version, um, which they did just solely with Actors Theatre of Little Rock, and then the collaborative vision kind of made it more about the Arkansas Hall space as well as nature as opposed to the Little Rock one that was mostly just about um, nature and mankind's relationship with it and so we really used this as a way to reclaim not only that outdoor space but also this space. Um, this is our first devised piece that we have done as a main stage production devising, I did not even really know what that was. People would just say it. But it's essentially just making up the theater yourself. It's, it's all written and uh, created by the people that are in it and the people that are in charge of it. We had a, about a two or three week, what I call the quote unquote creation period, where rehearsal just involved us going and seeing a space and improvising a scene there. And so we knew going into that, that there would be innovative media and augmented reality, AR, involved in some of the scenes. So we would try to incorporate that during that period so we would already know. Um, and then package that out as a file. And then like within each space where there's gonna be an AR thing where it's going to make a QR code. So it kind of worked out well for us with augmented reality. Um, so Innovative Media every semester will do a different project that is based around a new technology, um, something that we can introduce the students to. So it was the spring of 21, I had actually decided to do augmented reality creation, content creation with our project that semester. The technology we use, we use something called Adobe Aero for that. It's very Adobe specific. It's tied just to iPhones, really. So that technology didn't really work for the theater production, but we had at least done AR stuff before and I had a kind of an idea of how it would work. So we ended up having to research a whole different method of delivery. Um, we had never done actual delivery of AR content to people. It was just we were doing it on our own phones. Um, and then the rest of the technology that got folded into this theater production, it's called projection mapping, creating actual projections with software. Some of the other projection things, we use some software called Touch Designer. 
you know, typically to, to complete a project, you start at point A and point B is the finish line. And obviously a straight line is the quickest way to get there, but that's not the only way to get there. And so we really like teaching students that, you know, you may not take a straight line to your finish line, but you'll get there eventually. Um, there was a lot of that with this project. Um, and I feel like that's always a good lesson to show students and something that is kind of at the core of innovative media is adapting and surviving a little bit and getting to the end however you get there and that's what we definitely did.